Hello everyone, my name is uh, Shubham and I'm from the University of New Hampshire. Um, I'm presenting my paper on why does this entity matter, support passage retrieval for entity retrieval. Um, so our goal is to complement an entity ranking with textual descriptions of why that entity is relevant to the query. So, for example, if you see the uh, example on the, on the slide, uh, the query is unfree labor and the entity uh, is detention. Uh, and if you read the passage, uh, then it somehow connects the entity to the query and it informs the user why is that entity related to the query. So, to give a formal task description, we have a user's information need Q and an external system predicts the ranking of relevant entities E. And for every relevant entity, uh, small e in, in the set of relevant entities E, we have to retrieve and rank K passages which would explain why this entity is relevant for, for the query. Moreover, we would also want these entities to be salient for the passage. So what I mean by that is we would, we would like the passages um, where the entity is central and not just mentioned on the side. So the approach that we follow is, uh, of course, we first retrieve a candidate set of passages for the query and then we derive certain features uh, based on uh, two overarching uh, approaches. The first thing that we look at is entities in context. So by, by entities in context, I mean the other co-occurring entities with that given entity in the passage. So the motivation behind doing that is if you know uh, other entities which frequently co-occur with the target entity in the passage, um, then you can derive a distribution over these frequently co-occurring entities. And then you can use these co-occurring entities to, to score the passages. The other thing that we uh, look at is entity salience, as, as I already said. There is a toolkit called SWAT, S-W-A-T, which is, I think, made by the same people who made Tag Me. So uh, it gives you entity annotations, and it also gives you entity salience predictions uh, with some entity salience scores. Um, and then we rank passages for every query entity pair and we have a learning to rank approach with 5-4 cross validation. Um, so I would just like to talk about how we uh, find these co-occurring entities. So in, in the candidate set of passages, we have passages which mention this target entity. So now if you if you find such passages mentioning the entity and stitch them together, you would have one composite document which talks about, about this entity. And all the entities in the composite document would be entities which co-occur with that target entity. So now if you count the number of times how, uh, number of times these co-occurring entities occur, and, and you can have a distribution, like a probability distribution of these co-occurring entities. Um, uh, and then you can rank these two occurring entities by this probability score. So we have a set of features which are based on this method. Um, I, I will not be discussing all of them because of time constraints, but uh, for example, uh, we can uh, expand the query uh, using these entities. We can also expand the query with the words in the, um, in the, in the composite uh, entity context document. Uh, we can also um, have a per query in memory index where you have an index of these composite documents and then you retrieve these composite documents and then you rank the passages within these composite documents according to the retrieval score of these uh, entity context documents. Um, so uh, there are a lot of numbers over there. I will not be going over the table but uh, I would just like to uh, say that uh, we were looking at like two major research, uh, three major research questions, but uh, whether contextual entities help us in, in, um, in support passage retrieval, uh, can we make use of entity salience in support passage retrieval, 
and how does you know, contextual entities fare against contextual words. So we found that co-occurring entities are important indicators for um, support passages in our, um, uh, in our approach. And entity savings does work, but you have to know how to make it work because most of the times um, in your candidate set of passages that you retrieve, there will not be passages which are salient for the entity. So uh, in that case, your, um, uh, the, the quality of the, the candidate set becomes important. And um, contextual words outperform the contextual entities for support passage retrieval. So that was my presentation and I would like to thank uh, ACMC Gaiar for the travel grant and also my graduate school at the University of New Hampshire. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot.